What's going on guys? Scott here from Horizon Bound. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, if you guys happen to watch my last video, I installed some Rough Country Mole panels and I love them. They look great, but they're naked. We need to put some stuff on it. So today, I'm gonna be putting on a crazy beaver shovel and a Fiskars Isocore Sludgehammer Axe Combo. And I'm gonna be doing it with the quick fist rubber clamps. Let's get to it. So the reason I picked up these quick fist clamps is because they're super rugged. They can hold a pretty heavy amount of weight, 25 pounds for one of these. And then this guy can hold 50 pounds. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, it's not affected by heat or cold. So when you're out in the desert, when it's super hot, it's not gonna melt on you. When you're out in the snow, it's not gonna freeze up. You're not gonna break it, rip, you know, trying to take it apart. Uh, and it's UV resistant. I'm pretty excited about it. The only problem is there's no hardware. You gotta provide your own bolts, nuts, washers, and all that stuff. So rather than bore you guys and drive to Home Depot and, you know, find parking, find the bolts, get the nuts, get the washer, get in line, drive back. I'm just gonna do a little editing magic. So I might have gone a little carried away with all these things. Uh, I have no clue what size I needed. Don't know. I mean, this one needs one. These guys need two. Um, but had no clue what size to get. Uh, you know, obviously there's a number 10 but do I want an inch? Do I want a one and a half inch, a two inch? So I just got a bunch of these. They're a dollar, like whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and put them together and, and put it on the truck. So first let's start with the quick fist. These will be going on the shovel and the ax. As you can see, it comes with two little, little plastic washers and your rubber clamp. And this basically goes right there and you put the bolt through and then this up against the molly rack the washer and then the other nut simple enough so i think i'm going to put the axe on this side and i think i'm going to mount it right about there that way I can still have access to a fire extinguisher on this side, and then I'm gonna put my crazy beaver and a medic pack on the other. Um, so looking at this, I'm gonna say a good spot. Let's go ahead and just put it on for now. Let's see. So if I put it like that, and then another one, right here that should be a good fit so now that i'm looking at this i think i think the one inch is going to be plenty to go through this and into the other side so yeah let's go ahead and mount it right here and let's see if you guys can see that let's go ahead and mount it right there i need a nut I'm gonna need a bolt. And I'm gonna need a washer. So, this is gonna go clamp up. You don't want this down. You want this to be up so you can pull it as tight as possible and release it as easy as possible. Uh, so, we're gonna take our little plastic washer. We're gonna take our bolt, shove it right through there we're going to come over to this side and like so and this might be easier from another angle okay. Sorry for the dog barking. Uh, so for the next one, let's go ahead and this guy. 
bolt on through nice and easy. And we're gonna mount you, let's go right there. So that's on there pretty good. I feel like the, the rack's on there even tighter. I mean, this thing is snug. So let's pop it on and see what she looks like. So that one can get pretty far back there. This one over here. Try another one, why not? So that's two notches back. That's in there pretty snug. I don't think that's going anywhere. Plastic in there. Bolt through there. Boom, nice and sturdy. The next thing we're gonna be adding is the medic pack. I feel like right there is a pretty good spot. Thinking. That's what's awesome about this guy is it is able to be undone and done real quick. Uh, just a little bit of bulk girl keeps this guy secure. So we're gonna just plop it right there. And shove you. And 
there we go. Now with the quick fist uh, fire extinguisher clamp, you only get this. There's no other hardware. There's no plastic clips. Uh, the way it works is you have this guy and you can mount it pretty much however you want it. But you're supposed to drill holes into whatever you're wanting so that these sit in there. And on the back there's a nice little, little template. Um, but I don't want to drill into this, especially with all the different holes that are already there. So I picked up a quarter inch, 20 thread, two and a half inches. And I feel like that's honestly perfect. Um, it sticks out a little bit further, um, you know, but I, I honestly, I think it's gonna be good. Um, so let's put in one of these bigger washers. And if I'm doing it, like that. I feel like that's probably the best bet. So let's put you on all the way. And then I'll stick that on. It's a little tricky getting these things in there, uh, but I'm gonna feed it down. Slide it right in there, like so. Just tighten it on down. That is not rotating. That's in there good. So, as you can see, that's stupid because it is going right through there. So we need to put a washer to stop that from happening. They didn't give us a washer, so we've got to use our own. Hopefully this is big enough. Shit, stick this right here. Shove this. That should give a good enough right there. So let's try this again. We want this end up like so. So, as you can see, it's already starting to go in. Uh, that's what those plastic pieces are for, but for some reason they didn't give us one uh, for the bigger ones. Not sure why. So, moment of truth. Let's put this guy in here. Let's strap him in. That's, that's pretty snug in there. A little, a little vibrate, or a little shaky, but when you actually look at this, I feel like it's okay. I mean, it's gonna bounce around, unless I put another one, but I don't think I need to. All right, so now that we got that in there, let's do a little accessibility test. So, oh shit, fire, come out. I think that's pretty quick. That's pretty good. All right, guys, so that is that. I got my fire extinguisher, got my ax slash sledgehammer, uh, got my crazy beaver over here, my medic pack, all of this nice and easy access. I'm literally able to just rip this off. Um, I mean, does it get any more easier than this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just snap it in. Snap it back. And that one goes all the way back. This one 
right there. You're good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, obviously not too difficult of a, of a mod to do. I did this to my Tacoma, but you can do this to any vehicle. Um, you know, rough country, mole panels, uh, get yourself some gear, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like the video, hit like, subscribe. I'll keep putting out more videos for you guys. See you guys out on the horizon.